fun. Is she going to come talk to you right about that? Okay. Fire drill, let's go. No, there's the fire alarm went on during our. <laughs> Why do you have to sound like that for? Why? <laughs> it smells that good? It smells good. You want to <laughs> smell it? Smell it. Okay. You know how much hard work put in was put into this rose? Oh, that smells really good. Oh, yeah. that's a big flower. It's really fragrant. Show, look, this is the palm of my hand. It's like, I mean, not the palm, the fist of my hand. <laughs> it's bigger than my hand. I'm going to break this guy because I'm going to give this to Anna. Who's Anna? You know Anna, don't lie. <laughs> but like you the don't people know who that don't is. know who Anna okay, is. Okay, we're about to go eat lunch with Jeremy and Anna. They're our business partners for SIP. And um, also, they're really. Sorry. <laughs> just, I'm trying to break this. <laughs> I don't have scissors. Um, and I've known Jeremy for, I don't know. This, a long, long time. Joe. Yeah. That's a really oh, long time. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no. Wow. Ow. Are you okay? Wow. Damn. They didn't tell me it was this dangerous. Well, I mean, you should see all the thorns, right? Oh, look at this. Oh, you killed our only rose and plant. I didn't kill the plant. <laughs> I'm trying to break this off. Anna, if you're watching this, this is a lot of love going into breaking this rose off for you. There we go. Wow, I got water in me. Okay, so while Anne is struggling with it, ah! let me explain to you. Should I bite it? Um, I mean, you can if you want to. Let me, uh... Why is this so tough? I don't know, but I'm gonna get you while I change the, the lighting on this. <laughs> you got it? Ah! There we go. Okay. Okay, it still looks good. Good job. Thank you. There's another one growing. You see it? This little rosebud. Yeah. These white ones don't smell as good. It's because we didn't pick them. No, they were here before. Yep. <coughs> Ew. Blech. Okay. I got a vine stuck to me. <coughs> okay, I guess we'll ju we're just gonna go <laughs> and then we'll uh, introduce you guys to Anna and Jeremy. <laughs> they know. <laughs> so, after lunch, uh, we have a huge appointment with the OB. Um, this is our follow-up appointment since I went into the hospital and the whole point of this visit is so that we can check on baby's heartbeat. Um, I was supposed to actually go in next week, but I think it was so urgent that he just wanted to check on baby right away. Um, you know, so we were actually supposed to see a specialist and it hasn't, uh, our insurance hasn't approved us yet to go yeah. see the specialist to listen to the echo of the baby's heartbeat. So this is actually like the very first appointment since the hospital. Yeah. So that, that's why I, I decided, you know, there's such a nice rose. Um, Anna and Jeremy, they go, they're go they going to their own IVF um, situation. So I'm like, let's lighten the mood with a fragrant flower yeah. for all of us. Yeah, because we're all having our struggles right now and they have their own and they're trying to deal with having a transfer and all these things are coming up too. So we just felt like, hey, why not just all? Have lunch together yeah. and try to take the... Try to, uh, try to lighten up the mood a little yeah, bit. Yeah, pretty much. But um, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm hoping that the appointment goes well. Um, trying to be positive and I'm just hoping that we'll hear a good solid heartbeat. So No skipping. That's what I want to hear. No yep, skipping. No okay. skipping. Can you give the rose to Auntie? Can you give Auntie the rose? I know. Can you give it to Auntie Anna? I will accept your rose. Oh. <laughs> family but when it's just with Asians eating Asian food this is what always happens. <laughs> 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 
one of everything. You got one chicken feet. One. You got one of these guys. One of everything. One. What are we gonna do about this, guys? Come on. We'll let Anna pick what she can eat because she has a very strict diet. So. Okay. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Then you should take the whole plate. <laughs> That's true. I mean, we still have to get one of each. Oh my god. No one is getting the stuff with one each. They're going for the stuff with more. I know I Wow. Alright. What are you getting? Man, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna go for this right here. Nice. Okay. Man. Oh what? It's still there. <laughs> Alright, well, because we're so Asian, uh, we decided to make the ones with more food now to have only one on the plate as well. <laughs> so the rose that we got you, you see the bottom of the vine? It's very special. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have the stem. My bad. Ding! You got that right. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Wow, that's hot. We didn't have scissors, so I had to bite it off because it wouldn't rip. <laughs> you bit it? I bit it off. Oh, you bit it? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have made better sense. Right? That would have been a better story. That's true. Okay, Leia did it. Yeah. That would have been a way better story. I didn't do it. Leia did it. We're gonna get sip, and today we're gonna try some new stuff that they got, and I'm really excited to try it because it's one of my favorite desserts for Thanksgiving and for the season. Uh, we have now a pumpkin pie matcha milk tea, and it's on the menu now uh, on there, and we also have a pumpkin pie milk tea. So a little different from everywhere else that has pumpkin spice, it's actually pumpkin pie, and uh, very desserty. you know, I like it. I've been looking at my Instagram and I got tagged by our fan page and let me show you guys what it is Have you guys seen? Uh, what's going around right now is people put a picture of themselves and it starts transforming into a celebrity So everyone's trying to find out who is your inner celebrity So this guy tagged me in it and I'll show you guys who my inner celebrity is This is who I got does that guy look familiar to you? That's exactly, <laughs> that's so accurate, man. Ball is life, right? All right, what do you think we're gonna learn today? Um, so they're probably gonna talk to us about the results that we got from the hospital visit and then maybe talk about the plan to go forward. So what we should be doing if there's preventative measures that we have to take. And I think also just to check the um, baby's heartbeat. Yeah. I think that's the main thing. So I'm just hoping that everything is good. I'm what? hoping our authorization got approved so we can see the specialist. Your baby doesn't even look that big right now. It's probably because of what oh, you're wearing. Baby. Yeah, it's the dress. It's actually pretty big. He's 31 weeks today. Yay. Do you feel like uh, this guy's going to come early? Maybe. I... I don't, like for some reason, I don't feel like he's going to come out late at all, but I could be wrong. Um, but I also don't want him to come out too early. So how about, how about a few days early so it's not on Christmas? There we <laughs> <Right>? go. <laughs> Who are you kissing? Who are you kissing, Leia? <laughs> Better not be a boy. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. You didn't know I was watching you? Huh? That was so funny. <laughs> she didn't know the you dad was watching her. her. Yeah. Leia, who are you kissing? Hmm? Hey, hey, who is this? 
Uh oh. Oh no. You're lucky. It's just a lion. I'm getting a look into our future. Oh god. What am I supposed to do? She's kissing boys like that. She won't. She she'll have more respect in front of us. She's a smart girl. You guys don't know what is going on in my mind right now. It's like <laughs> my head's on fire. Right now. Okay. She's only yes. she's not even two yet. Yeah, Calm she's down. kissing boys. No, it was a tiger. A boy tiger. <laughs> you don't know that. I, I, yeah, I feel it here. And you look at your tummy. Your tummy kind of like it's like a pear this way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that. because yeah. he's supposed to be down here. Yeah, I don't think it is. No. I, think I think you're still the same way there. Oh, okay. So we'll see what happens. Oh, man. What's the word? He's still <laughs> in the process. We'll see. Just remember what I told you, the, the precautions. That's probably yes. the most important. Still have a little bit. Yeah, I still have it. Okay. No, there's the fire alarm went on during our. All right, so we were in the middle of our appointment and the fire alarm was going off. Yeah, like what the heck? Outside, but it just stopped. Everyone's going back in. I have no idea what happened. Oh, look, but... look, everyone's outside. <laughs> oh. You think there's a real fire? Probably not. It could just be a, a false alarm. I don't smell anything. There's no smoke. But it's kind of sad how everyone's just like waiting out here and it's so busy already. <laughs> we finally made it back inside. Mm -hmm. But that sucker up there was going off in the middle of our appointment, uh, in the middle of what the doctor was telling us. Some pretty bad news, but hopefully it can change. Um. <sighs> so. Baby right now is in a position where he can go either way. So like what we said last time, his yeah. head is here, but here, feet here. Yeah. So he's in a transverse position. So we're hoping that he'll drop soon and his head goes downward, but there's also a slight chance that he might turn the other way and then his feet might go down first. If that's the case and something happens, he comes early, I'm gonna have to get a C-section. Um, and then it's dangerous if his feet come down first because I can't give birth to him with his feet here. If they can't pull a baby by the feet, they can break it, something can happen, something might get stuck. So the only way to get him out would be through the C-section. Um, yeah. So we're just hoping he's gonna drop naturally this way. They said it's a little early, but at the same time that he should have been dropped already. So I'm kind of scared. This is what Tiff went through and she told me about it. So I'm kind of scared. Uh, I was hoping for more good news with baby's heartbeat. Um, I don't know if Aaron caught it for you guys, but there's still that arrhythmia where it is kind of consistent, but there's parts where there are little pauses too. So I'm just hoping it's gonna go away soon. We're gonna go see the specialist in a week and kind of go from there and we're also going to see the OB next week as well to make sure baby's position is safe. It's a lot. It's almost dinner time but the baby's got to eat something healthy. Yeah. And, um, you know, honestly, I don't know. Oh, there's like a spider web on this camera. What the heck? Well, so honestly, uh, I don't know what's more concerning right now. There's so many things that we're going through. Um, is it the heart that's still skipping? Is it that the baby is sideways right now? Like, have you ever even ever thought that you would get a c-section no you know? i never wanted to i was thinking about it earlier when i was putting Leia to bed but i was yeah. like oh man i'd rather just have a natural birth because a c-section is surgery and surgery scare me and i i'm like more afraid of this stuff because i feel like it's more risky yeah so um never in my life have i ever told myself like okay i'm just gonna get a c-section and stuff because i just it was never part of the plan but I've also learned that um, 
sometimes your birth plans don't go according to what you want to do. So they say that uh, the most uh, the 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 way people give birth nowadays, uh, the majority of it is C sections. Yes. Not even natural birth. Yeah. So you should be okay. Yeah, I know it's very popular for hospitals and doctors. Yeah. Um, they make money from it. It's more profitable. And then for women, I, I don't know if it's easier or if it's like a faster process. I'm not too sure. But um, other than that, I just try to avoid surgery if I can. Yeah. Um, I feel like the heart situation is kind of what freaks me out more because we don't know what's causing it and we don't know if he's okay or not. Um, Do you think, um, well, the doctor said that normally uh, the once the baby is born, uh, the heart is normal. Yeah. He said that he doesn't have too many patients that go through this, but the one that he just had, um, while she was in labor, um, the hospital was telling him like, hey, do you know that your patients, uh, the baby's heartbeat is skipping? And he's like, yeah, I know. And uh, nothing happened, you know? Like yeah. was, the baby was perfectly normal. Baby was um, healthy and... For the most part, till, till this, till we, so what we know, you know, like you don't know if it can affect the baby years down the line when they as they develop, you know, True. stuff like that. So Yeah. I still wonder too, I'm like, you have a heart murmur. So mm -hmm. what if that's the case? I was hoping for a more positive outcome this appointment. I know. Every week is so difficult for yeah. us guys. It's like this second pregnancy is definitely more complicated. Yes. And I don't know if it's because um you're older. Because it's a boy. Boys are more one? stubborn. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Um, I mean, Tiff had the same situation with the positioning too. Yeah. So is there not enough space for baby to move? Or does he just want to lay that way? I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah. I just, uh, I want to, if you guys know if there's any ways to help uh, the baby move certain ways, let us know right down in the comments because I've heard of different things that you can do, but then our doctor's like, no, there is nothing you can do. So it's like... Just let it what? happen naturally, right? Let it take its course. But you know what? I think maybe if we just um, put in the time to walk once or twice a day, that'll help. That'll help you to stay healthy. That'll help me to stay healthy. That might help baby to get into position. And then Leia gets to see the outdoors more. It is cooling down. No, it's not cooling down. It's no. like in the 90s. It's hey, where did Leia go? Wasn't she just here? Where's Leia? Leia? You wanna scare mommy? Where is she? Can I scare mommy? One, two, three. <gasps> there you are! I found you! You're supposed to say boo! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you wanna vlog? Okay, here you go. Here, let me give you the screen. Look at there you are! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh wow! So sweet. Okay. Okay. You're gonna hold it now. Here, you hold it. Use two hands. There we go. Where's Leia? Oh my wow. god. Are you okay? Okay. That's it. Are you excited that your baby brother's coming in nine weeks? Nine weeks. You're gonna oh. be a sister. Yeah, I think she is getting excited because um, every time when I'm trying to put her to sleep now, the, I think the last like three days, she'll go on me, she'll be like, baby, and then she'll sit right here, and then she'll keep like kissing my belly, and she'll do it maybe three, four, five times. Leia, you want to give baby a kiss? You want to give baby smash face? <laughs> oh, you want smash face? Okay, well, I guess this is the end of the video, guys. Um... Hopefully next time will be much better and uh, these doctor appointments will get a lot healthier. Yes. So, so next time she's dragging my <laughs> face into hers. Okay, okay ready? Leia smash face. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So shy, yeah.